Yeah. For for us to make this one one, we should divide the whole row by five. Divide the row by five. So being zero divided by five is zero. Zero divided by five is zero. Five divided by five divided by five is one. Point five divided by five is point zero one. One divided by five is point two. Point two. And one eighty divided by five is thirty six. Then afterwards, after natin sa makompute, after natin makompute ito, we need to make this row zero ito and this row zero din ito. Papan natin siya gawin. Siya ay point five. Pwede natin siya i-multiply by negative 0.5 times yung 5 boot ng 5 boot row. Ang 5 boot row natin ngayon ay root 2 plus yung papalta. Ganun na lang lagi ang ating equations. Negative value niya, original value times 5 boot row plus yung ating papalta na row. Using this compute, using the multiplication, using this equation, we could get the values of this first row is equivalent to the following. Yeah. Then, for us to solve this lower portion, siya ay negative 10 para siya ay maging 0 we will be multiplying it by positive 10. Positive 10 times 5 boot number, 5 boot row plus papalta na row. Ganun lang lagi ating formula. Negative value niya, negative ng negative 10 is positive 10 times yung ating 5 boot row plus yung ating value na papalta. Uh, using this equation to solve this equation or to iterate this, this equation, we could get the values of the following. Meaning to say, tayo ay na-implement na natin yung rule na dapat sa ay basic variable. Meaning, this is now your, kasi if you will check, if you will double check, siya lang yung nag-iisang 1, the rest ay 0, ito ay x1 ang basic variable. Siya lang yung nag-iisang 1, the rest ay 0, siya ay x2. And, siya lang yung nag-iisang 1, the rest ay 0, siya ay z. Meaning to say, tama yung ating iteration. As you could see, as well natin i-check, is i-check kung positive na sa lahat. Dahil siya ay positive na lahat, we could say that our computation is optimal. Ano yung sabihin ng optimal? We have already got our optimum allocations for our problem. Paano natin siya ngayon malalaman? As you could see, x1 and x2 have different columns na. Meron na siya magkaibang columns. As you could see, x1 could be equivalent to 132 and x2 could be equivalent by 36. Therefore, we conclude we conclude that x1 is equivalent to 132 and x2 is equivalent to 36. Kung babalik tayo dun sa ating main problem, we will be returning on our main problem, we need to deliver 132 units, based dito, 132 units ng H at 36 units ng W. Meaning to say, our answer on this problem is C. Bali, this is a simple, simplex problem you may use different kind of computation if you want but i think this this computation or way of solving is the fastest of all the methods of computation simply you could use the zero z bar rule so on and so forth zj minus zj but i think for the cie examination you may use this one as the fastest i hope you've learned something thank you